this is a review of Module 2, Lessons 1 through 11, to prepare you for your mid-module assessment tomorrow. Number 1. Rebecca drives to the mall. The clock to the right shows what time she leaves home. What time does she leave? If I look at my hour hand, I can see that it's in between the 7 and the 8. That means it is the lower hour since it has not reached the next hour yet. So I'm going to write 7 as my hour. Now I'm going to look at my minute hand. And I notice my minute is past the 3. If I'm counting by fives, I can count 5, 10, 15. I need to continue counting, this time by ones, for my number of minutes. So I'm going to count 15, 16, 17, and that's about where my minute hand is. So I'm going to mark the time as 7, 17. I know that Rebecca is driving to the mall, and I know the mall is not open at 7 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to mark this as 7, 17 p.m. Letter B. It takes Rebecca 14 minutes to drive to the mall. Use the number line below to show what time she gets to the store. So we have 717. If I mark my number line, I know, I know this dash is 15. If I continue writing 15, 16, 17, this is when Rebecca gets to the mall. Or, I'm sorry, leaves for the mall. It takes her 14 minutes to go. So I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So right here at 31 is where she is getting to the mall. Letter C. The clock to the right shows what time Rebecca left the mall. What time does she leave the mall? It's hard to tell in this picture, but that hour hand is still not quite to the 8. So our hour is still 7 o'clock. Our minute hand is pointing directly at the 11. So I'm going to count around my clock by fives to figure out how many minutes have passed. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So Rebecca left the mall at 7.55 p.m. I can also check its p.m. with these marks on my number line. That reminds me that it is p.m. Last letter D. How long does Rebecca spend at the mall? She gets to the mall at 7.17 she leaves the mall at 7.55. This is happening within the hour. So I can subtract the minutes. 55 minutes minus 17 minutes. 5 minus 7 I can't do because I only have 5 and I'm trying to take 7 away. 
So I'm going to borrow from the 5, turn it into a 4, turn that 5 in the 1's place into a 15. If I put 7 in my head, I can count up to 15. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That gives me 8. Then I can subtract 4 minus 1, which is 3. Last, writing a sentence. Rebecca spends 38 minutes at the mall. This is the end of page one.